The drop is a super important shot in badminton and if you use it the right way it can be very powerful during the rally. There are different variations and in this video I want to show you four different types of drop shots from basic level to expert and then also show you how and when to use them during the game to get the maximum out of your drop shots. All right, so let's start first with uh, something I would call a normal or basic drop. And a very important thing about drop shots is you want to make them look alike your smashes and clears from the rear court. And if you do not know how a smash and uh, clear should look like, check out my smash and clear tutorial. There you will find all the important key points and also how to master um, the important things like a good starting position. And this is also something you want for the drop shot. You want the same starting position where you have the elbow behind the body, raise your other arm and the racket is pointing towards the shot. A lot of players, especially beginners, make the mistake that they have a completely different starting position and they have the elbow right here when they play a drop shot and that is so easy for your opponents to read it and even um, other beginners will realize it quite quickly when you hit a drop shot and when you hit with power. So that's the first and maybe most important thing about the basic drop. Make the, Have the same starting position and then like you would uh, hit a clear or a smash but you just slow down the movement like there's not so much rotation in the forearm like you have in a smash or a clear and in general the movement is slower but you want to hold your starting position as long as possible to but still hit a clean shot okay so we want to have a look how that should look like where the shuttle actually lands and uh, yeah i'm happy that i also have support from my shuttle boy All right, so as I said, we want to go quickly into the same starting position like we have for a smash or clear and then slow down the movement. You see the shuttle lands maybe a little bit behind the T and you can steer the direction by turning the body a little bit if you want to play cross court and change the direction of the arm. But you always want to have the same starting position and also look a little bit dangerous. To get better in that look-alike thing, also add in smashes from time to time or add in some clears. So you also make sure that you actually go into the same position when you play a drop shot. So this is the important and crucial aspect. So the next option to slow the shuttle down is not by slowing down the movement so much but by slicing the shuttle. So we want to start with slice drop shots where you hit the shuttle for right-handed players on the right side. So you want to hit the feathers and if you do that, the shuttle will slow down automatically. Even if you hit it quite hard, if you slice a lot, it will lose a lot of speed and that will make it hard for the opponent because it looks like a fast shot until the end, but the shuttle will lose its speed eventually. And another cool thing, if you slice from the forehand side, you will automatically play a cross court shot, even if it looks more like a straight drop. So we also want to have a look at that and let's go shuttle boy. Okay, same thing like for the normal drop, we want to have the same starting position like we had before. And then we want to hit it with speed on the right side. Ah, that was better. You see it automatically goes cross court and it loses a lot of speed even though I hit quite powerful. So you can also hit these slices from the round the head corner and then hit a long line shot. And there you have to turn your body a little bit more and that will also create a deception that it looks more like a maybe cross court smash that you're playing. But with the slice as I just showed you the shuttle slows down and in that case flies a long line. Similar thing to the slice I just showed you, there's also a reverse slice where you actually hit the shuttle on the other side. And for the slice I just showed you, maybe if you realize there's almost no rotation, it's just like um, slicing the shuttle like this. Now you, we need a lot of rotation to get actually on the other side of the shuttle. So as a right-handed player, the movement goes from right to left. And you have also adjust the wrist a little bit, so you can actually get on the left side of the shuttle. And once again, by slicing it this way, the shuttle will lose speed, it will change the direction and there's also a deception because the racket goes from right to left, but the shuttle flies, if I do it from the round the head corner, from left to right. So we also want to have a look at that. Okay, once again, important thing, we want to have the same starting position like for all the overhead shots and then slice it from right to left. 
and you can vary it with the speed of the slice. The more you slice, the more it will lose speed. You see that was too much of it. And you can vary the speed of the racket. So if you slow it a little bit down, you can play it really close to the net as well. But you can also hit it with more speed. Then it lands a little bit behind the tee, but has a lot faster flight trajectory. So the last one, option number four, maybe the hardest one to play, um, even if it's a bit similar to the basic drop I showed you in the beginning, is the so-called stop drop. We also call it Yongbo drop because of the famous Chinese men's doubles player from a couple of years ago. Um, but I think you could also uh, name it after Tai Tzu Ying, like a Tai Tzu Ying drop or Yuta Watanabe drop, because those two players, they are playing that shot to perfection at the moment. So just like in the basic drop, you want to hit without any slice. Um, we just mentioned the slice and reverse slice. So you want to have a clean shot, but the goal of the stop drop is to start quick and then really slowing down the movement completely and also have a little bit more upwards trajectory where the shuttle lands right behind the net. So the basic drop was flying a little bit further, uh, landing behind the tee and going a little bit more down. The stop drop goes a little bit upwards and then lands as short as you can to make the court as big as possible for the opponent. And that will many times cause a lot of problems um, to cover the court if you are actually good at that. So I think the easiest version of it is from the forehand side to play it cross court and to actually pull the racket in, not really dropping the racket head. And most important thing, you start again the same way, but then you accelerate and then freeze the arm. I, I try to demonstrate a little bit over exaggerated, where you really freeze the arm and it's a little bit like pulling the arm in. As you can see, shuttle lands right behind the net if you play it good and it goes a little bit upwards. So different trajectory as I mentioned and the longer you can stay like fast with the elbow, the more the deception, the more of a deception you have in the shot. Okay, last one. So the little bit harder option now here from the round head corner, the movement goes a little bit more forward and you pull the racket in like this. Ah, that was a bit too long, but once again, you start fast and pull it in here. And as I mentioned, have a look at players like Tai Tzu Ying or Yuta Watanabe, how they can play that shot. This is just insane. They played so short and it looks like a smash until the very last moment. So you can do it from both sides, as I just mentioned from the forehand. You can also play it straight, but I think the cross one is a little bit easier, as you can pull the arm in like this and start fast and then completely freeze the arm in that position and pull it forwards or pull it in to play these stop drops. So we covered quite a lot about the drop shot today and as I said about the slice drop but also about the deceptive stop drop I just showed you. Um, I already made a little bit more detailed video with also some ideas how to practice that shot. So if you want to dive in, if you're already a little bit more advanced and want to practice these advanced drop shots, um, definitely check out those videos. Um, hit the like button for the video, subscribe for my channel. As usual, you probably know it already. And then I hope I see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye bye.